Whenever you guys are ready, let's, 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 I think we can. Roll it. She's ready. Two, three, four. Joseph was the original sousaphonist for the Dirty Dust Brass Band, and his brother Charles uh, played trombone. And I got to know them, and they played at my wedding about a year later. It was a pretty funky wedding to begin with, but I think they maybe thought that they were supposed to be on their best behavior um, and started playing these kind of polite wedding songs, you know. And I. My friends, who were all pretty musically hip and educated, were kind of looking at me like, this is the band you've been telling us about, you know? They were playing like Billy Jean and, uh, you know, something else that was like really kind of corny, you know? It's like they weren't, you could tell they weren't uncomfortable with it and they were all playing really, really quiet with it. And um, I kind of went over and whispered, you know, hey man, you know, we want you guys to like be yourself. <laughs> and then you guys like play like you do when you're at the, Glass house, you know, and then this party will like really take off. And of course, of course, after that, everything was cool and the place started jumping. You know? Lots been said and done and written about the Dirty Dozen since then. I couldn't tell you anything about Kirk that most people that are familiar with that music don't already know about. He's a, he's a legend. He's fantastic and he's a good friend. And uh, I was delighted that he played on my new record. Let me show you this. You're doing great, though, bro. It's cool. Thanks, man.